high frequency channel where source and spirit meet in tandem, where forces between the mind, body, and spirit meet in friendship, while building a unity of energy and creation, fluidity in consciousness, where we let our spirits speak. Good day to you guys. Blessings to you all. Love and light. Namaste. Vibration. <laughs> oh, what a finicky, finicky hermetic principle. Vibration itself is energy, and uh, energy and vibration affects everyone, it affects everything. Uh, the very core of creation is based on energy and vibration. Think about it as this. Say you wake up in the morning, right? All of a sudden, you just, just so happen to stub your toe on the stinking bureau. <laughs> Or the edge of the bed, for that fact, okay? Or maybe you stepped on a toy one of your kids may have left in your bedroom, okay? The very reaction at the very moment that you feel that pain, discomfort, creates a specific kind of vibration. Now, I know, not necessarily quoting any of these uh, the documentaries or, uh, or publishings, but uh, the the movie The Secret, uh, the documentary, as well as the the book and the book for the power, and I don't know if they've done a documentary on it. Hopefully they will, but they haven't. And a lot of it's a little vague, so let me explain. So vibrational frequency is not as complicated as some people may think. Okay. Uh, again, vibration is everywhere. I mean, it's always moving. It's never sitting still and it's always forming, never really destroying, only uh, amplifying, you know, dimming or lowering in some way, shape or form, right? So your vibration, as soon as you start off your day, is pivotal to what happens during the whole process of your day feel pain you might cuss out the world for some reason then all of a sudden you start swimming and marin marinating in that emotion in that ideology in that vibration okay in that energy and what happens is well your day is just primed that way and guess what the rest of the day may be shit um it may have a couple of more catastrophes happening in between because of the very vibration that you're projecting outside of your body, okay? Uh, from the internal components of your solar plexus chakra and outward. Okay, this is the housing unit and it sends out the energy just like your auric field, you know, it's between, you know, uh, three to nine inches uh, outside of your body. Use a roller, do your math. Um, ultimately, you need to keep your vibration high. Why? Okay, so science and spirituality, universal concepts, uh, have learned that the vibration that you create is the vibration that's sent to you. So in, in all essence, uh, what you send out comes back to you. I mean, a lot of individuals understand this concept, and it's been a reality for decades, even centuries for that fact. Uh, however... It is said that like attracts like. So if you send out bad mojo, bad energy, bad vibrations, you're going to get it in return. That's just, you know, it's a universal concept. But I will also understand that at times it amplifies when it's coming back to you because you're already sending it out. Picture it as um, like a bow and arrow or a slingshot or even um, a, a mirror in a sense, uh, even a... a, a reverberating barrier, if, if you will, because um, once you send out that energy, it bounces back. But once it bounces back, it could be 5, 10, 20, 100 times stronger than when you sent it out. 
it depends on you know vibrational frequencies it depends on environment it depends on uh you know the moon phases the planetary alignments and a lot of other things solar flares and whatnot okay that are going on within the cosmos so ultimately what you uh, need to attempt to do frequently is perform a tally now what do i mean by when i say that you need to see where you are at any point of the day are you in high spirits or are you kind of in the bit of low spirits depressed upset sad you know doubtful regretful fearful any of those things or are you happy joyful excited ambitious you know motivated inspired that's the balance okay the vibration however when it comes to external influences meaning things that are out of your control you know accident on a highway um you know your, your boss your boss woke up on the wrong side of the bed and is a total dick okay or uh let's say you wake up from a bad dream thinking it was real but yet when you wake up to this reality it's not but you still feel it emotionally okay ultimately what we have to understand is that the vibration that we hold creates the very reality that we live in and we can also shift the vibrational frequency depending on like how much control we have of ourselves that's only that's the only one thing that you may have absolute control over is yourself your actions your reactions okay i just dropped my little piece of paper okay so if you change again no we're going into the mindset okay so if you change your mindset instead of ah son of a you know you know when you stub your toe or you know you got a bad call in the morning and you just want to you know choke somebody out which obviously is not recommended okay it's not a high vibration uh, even being angry or rageful is not a high vibration or irritated or uh, annoyed okay or frustrated you got to shift okay so how do you shift you have to be aware at all times you got to be aware of your emotions in the moment in the present in the now okay and then factor in or assess whether or not how you feel how you're acting and how you're reacting or how you're going to react is beneficial for yourself and everything or everyone involved and if it's not then you know that there needs to be a way in order for you to shift your mindset and once you change your mindset your mood follows so once your mood follows the vibration supersedes everything else and it can happen within moments but sometimes it takes us for as human beings forever at least it feels like forever okay longer than what it should take in order for us to facilitate the transition between the negative and the positive okay example examples plural you get fired from your job um sometimes people no offense but to some people you know having a baby's a, a big stress and a big strain a beautiful thing nonetheless okay um, you, you need to move let's say let's say something happens to your home or apartment okay let's uh let's say a family member passes unfortunately okay or or an animal close to you you know something in your home or even some someone else's best friend okay yeah those are extremely emotional situations um and some are more so than others however you have to find that level of balance not becoming a robot just being emotionally aware and psychologically aware spiritually aware that you have control over it not over what's happened 
but over how you act and react. Again, once you do that, and once you begin to master that hermetic principle of vibrational frequency, well, it's just vibration, then you'll be able to assist others in the integration process of understanding that same principle within their own lives. And then this world is going to be so much uh, a better place than these last couple of generations have left it, to be honest. Um, oh, we're here 2022 and you know, going into 2023, and we must have change. That's what I believe, and positive changes, not negative changes, okay? We've already dealt with the negative for the past three years, all right, since 2020. There is absolutely no reason to keep going on doing that because all it's going to do is cause more chaos. And the one thing we've always wanted to do, live life, be happy and joyful, be loved, you know, and, and live in a world that is sustainable, that is positive, that is good. Now, it does, you know, th things happen, you know, definitely, you know, we have to deal with those things accordingly. However, together, we will change the very vibration of the world. So if you can join with me in the mission to shift that vibrational frequency, comment below, okay? If you have a question about something, an emotional process or something that you're going through, comment that, okay? And I will provide you with the best possible solutions I could think of, all right? And aside from that, help those around you do the same thing, you know, shifting the mindset, changing the mood. And for those that just want to sit and simmer and in sadness and depression and anger and rage, you know, you can't save everybody. But you can at least help them along with planting a seed. Okay. So until next time, guys, brightest blessings to you all. Love and light. Namaste. Live in the vibration of love and take care of each other. I'd say that would be the best thing, best advice I could give the majority of this world, at least right now, because that's going to be another episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, make sure that you guys subscribe, uh, hit that notification button. Okay. Tap that out. Uh, give me a like, and, uh, you know, if you feel that there's something that you need help with or, uh, something that you feel stuck with for that fact, uh, feel free to let me know and comment your thoughts, uh, about this amazing hermetic principle. All right. So until next time, guys, love and light. Okay. I'll see you soon. Take care. Take it easy. Peace. A high frequency channel where source and spirit meet in tandem, where forces between the mind, body, and spirit meet in friendship, while building a unity of energy and creation, fluidity in consciousness, where we let our spirits speak.